Hi, I'm TJ Storm from Godzilla, The Predator, and Deadpool. You're watching HWWS. <laughs> Alright, you ready? Alright, just roll, just roll. Okay, ready? That's too many minutes! Hello, World Wide Web. Welcome back to the Hanging With Web Show. I'm GW Pometra. Thank you so much for logging on and tuning in. We are at Phantasm Orlando all weekend long. We're hanging out with TJ Storm. TJ, thank you so thank much, you brother. For awesome me, for man. coming over. Um, we're going to dive into everything about TJ. So stay tuned in. TJ, what do you think, man? How's this? How's it going? Orlando is already amazing. And then this, this event itself, Phantasm itself, is a blast. It's so cool to see the, the other, the other uh, actors and, and celebrities here. It's like old home day in there, it's man. I, can just, I watch everybody. There's high fives behind the tables. Yeah, it's, it's good great. to see everybody. A lot of the people you work with or some of the people you grew up watching are all in there. And uh, it's fun just to see them. And it's fun to see all of the stuff. Uh, we're all fans of the same stuff, whether it's horror, comic books, Action, sci-fi, monsters. You know, that's the great thing about the creative artist community is that the people who are making the art are fans. Yes. First and foremost. They love what they're doing. They love what everyone else has done. Absolutely. Um, how, how long, you know, you've been acting, doing mocap work, doing voice work, you're doing all kinds of stuff. How long have you been in the business? I've been in the business for at least 35 years. Now, you started out dancing. Yeah, yeah. I was a dancer first. Yeah. And uh, then I got a record contract, and then I started acting. So now for our audience, because one of our things, now, now I'm, a, I'm an old guy, so I don't like to go out on Friday nights. So what I do on Friday nights is we have a great uh, group of musicians here locally. They call it the Kitchen Killers. Kitchen Killers? Yeah. They, they play acoustic music from somebody's nice. kitchen. That's awesome. Private concert. Every Friday night at 9.05. But I have a question because I was reading your bio earlier, right? It says that when you first started dancing and you came over to the States from, from Hawaii, sure, sure. Um, you, you were finally able to make enough money to afford ramen noodles and Pop-Tarts. Yes. So I have a question for our audience, a specific question for our audience. It's going to sound weird. Have you ever put butter on a Pop-Tart? Everybody knows that trick. Most people know that trick. Now it's good. Now I need. To, oh, there you go. Because I, I need to know if it's true. Because the boys are always telling me they're always singing it. Is it so freaking good? It's really, really good. I mean, my, my favorite pop tarts are the ones with the frosting on top, and you oh, yeah. gotta toast them because that makes it extra awesome. Extra awesome, yeah. But but if you don't have the frosting, then you gotta put something on it, and it's butter. It's butter. It's awesome. So it's really good. There you have it, guys. You gotta put butter on the pop tarts. Now, um, so you guys started as a dancer. You yep. moved in. Now, uh, most recently, I know folks will know you from doing your mocap work from yes. uh, Deadpool Two. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was in the original Deadpool. Deadpool, Deadpool yeah, I'm sorry, yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, in Deadpool, I My head losses. gets backwards. No, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> There's so much stuff out there. It is, it's man. Hard to even keep up on the watching of it all, much less trying what to What has keep been your favorite there. project? What's your favorite thing that you've done? If you look back and you look at your work and you go, man, that, I love that. I've been super lucky to be on so many things. I'm in the Marvel Universe as, you know, Colossus. Yeah, I've man. Been, Iron Man and Captain America Civil War. Uh, now you did the mocap for that, yep, right? Yep, yeah, that's I did, awesome. So for some of the fight between uh, Iron Man versus Captain and Bucky, uh, we mocap a lot of that stuff. Uh, that is awesome. Some performance capture for uh, Groot and Rocket Raccoon. And nice. I, I've gotten to play a lot. Uh, that's the Marvel Universe. Uh, in the Kaiju Universe, I'm part of the longest lasting franchise ever, uh, Godzilla. And it is Godzilla's 65th birthday. Wow. Right, uh, November 3rd. And it's amazing to be part of such a, in fact. That's a rich tradition too, in terms of, I mean, because that goes back to the Absolutely. to the 50s. It is. And it, I'm the first American Godzilla, which really? I, it's a huge honor. I did not know that. Congratulations. Thank you. That Thank is you. really amazing. Thank you. It's, it's a huge honor. It's, it's awesome. My, the first movie my dad ever took me to see was a movie called Godzilla vs. the Smog Monster. I was five. The screen was bigger than life, and I'd never seen anything like that. It was like, <gasps> look, ah! and, and you know, the amazing thing about those movies was, you know, when we look back at them now as adults or whatever, right? And there's there's no effects budget, there's no there's no anything. But when we were that age, it was magic. It was magic. It was there. And I Godzilla. Think it's all relative. Yeah. I mean, for us, that was the thing. That was huge. I mean, may, maybe for my great grandparents, it was a great stage show. 
And yeah. maybe for our children, it'll be totally immersive and they'll see something we can't even imagine. There's a, 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 a rancor it's over amazing. there. I was like, what? Really? It's Michael amazing. was standing in the hand of the rancor. I'm like, dude, I would have died at ah, eight years old to be standing. My head would have exploded. Boom. That's right. But, and wow. it's humongous. It's Roxy the rancor. Yeah, it's Roxy gorgeous. the rancor. It's really, really nice. uh, with the 501st, guys, the 501st Legion. If you're at a convention or a con somewhere, you have to stop you by. Have to check they it out. build the best. I've seen them building like like Tatooine. Yes. On a on a. And they have. You know, uh, uh, they've Mos got Mos Eisley over yeah, there. Yeah, they have Mos Eisley, uh, yeah, the little yeah, Mos Eisley over yeah, there. It's beautiful. Uh, it, it's it is it's fantastic. Um, so you've been doing fan conventions. You've been you've been interacting with the fans. It's really um, fun. What is what's the best part of that for you? Just to feel and relive the magic, along with them. I, mm -hmm. I remember when I was a little kid, seeing these these movies and just being blown away. And then sometimes you get to see, catch a glimpse of the person who was up on screen. Yeah. And that's magic. You're like, you're the guy. And it's just me. So if you weren't behind the table, w would you be out in front of the table? Oh, I was. Oh, yeah? I was, Were you I that was. guy? I grew up on comic books. I grew oh, up, I, mean, yeah. I, I would be every Saturday, I lived in Hawaii when I was a little kid. I, I Every Saturday I'd go down uh, to downtown uh, Honolulu and I'd, Go into Chinatown, and underneath the tables there were old boxes of comic books. Oh. So you could find me underneath the tables, and they'd just, just be like, just, "It's that kid again." <laughs> and I'd be looking for the good comic books. I Many a week I spent in Waikiki. I was stationed at Schofield. So uh, you know, it's yeah, amazing. it's amazing. Oh, it's a beautiful place to grow up. It, I believe that. But that's I wasn't outside. I was under a table in an old. You shop. were watching yeah. reading, com <laughs> reading, comic reading comic books. See, before Comic Cons, we were wherever we could go. I mean, you got it wherever you could. Yeah. So, um, and you started out dancing, you've done all kinds of acting. Um, yeah, it's fun. Now, in the fan uh, interactions, okay, these are crazy places. Sure. This is kind of quiet this weekend, but, sure, it's, sure. but it's, it, um, most interesting or special, memorable fan interaction that you've had? Some people... That you can tell us about. No, That's no. That's YouTube. Yeah. You know how they are. <laughs> Some you people know how they are. become completely speechless because they don't expect it to really be you or, or they didn't know you were going to be there or or we're not behind the table because I can't stay behind the table very long if, if there's it not gets a, a lot little, of people, yeah I go running around looking at all the toys and all the comics <laughs> I'm looking at everything I can't sit still and occasionally I'll be standing there looking at a comic book or something and the guy next to me will be like <laughs> is, that, is that him and the, you hey, can see that, the is little that, is tick, that him? tick 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 <laughs> And that's the best. It's awesome. That is awesome. Because I did that all the time. It's it's amazing. And occasionally you get somebody who's like, I want to do what you do. And What's I'm the like, dream job, man? What's the dream job coming up? I mean, you you've done so much. You're you're in, you're in Marvel. You're in Godzilla. You're you're doing Star so Wars much. Universe. Star Wars universe. I get to be What's, Darth Vader right What's now. What's left? What's the dream job? What's what what having you ticked off that box? I would love to be either Galactus or Silver Surfer. I my friend Doug Jones. He's an amazing. Uh, uh, suit actor and character actor, mm -hmm. spectacular. You see, you've seen him in Pan's Labyrinth. Uh, uh, the uh, what is the water one with the monster? Uh, oh, uh, the, I, I can never remember. Oh the my name. God! Uh, It'll come back. Shape to of Water. The Shape of Water. Shape Thank of Water. You. Thank he you. is the monster in the Shape of Water. He's also Abe uh, Sapien in the Hellboy. He's an amazing actor. Uh, he played the first Silver Surfer in uh, the Fantastic Four movie, mm -hmm. but. Marvel's rebooting the next section of the Marvel. Well, universe. you know, it thinks, it, timing is everything. I think, and in the first Fantastic Four series, didn't really, yeah, didn't, it wasn't, didn't spark. It didn't hit people. It the didn't way they hit wanted. people they wanted to, and especially this was pre Iron Man. This is pre yes. pre MCU, yes. really. And so I think it, when they reboot now, I think this is just going to be. So it's a whole new game now. It is. It and is. So you'd like to do Silver Surfer? I would love that or Galactus. Or Galactus. Both. Yeah. Galactus. That's. That's aiming high, by the way. That's that's, that's a pretty big bad. Yeah, I would love that. That would be kind of awesome. But he's he's larger than life. Yeah, he's the world eater. That would be really neat. I think. Uh, I am lucky to be part of the the Star Wars universe, getting to do Darth, Darth Vader for Vader Immortal, and uh, there's so many more projects that we're shooting right now that we can't talk about yet. But there's so much fun stuff coming down the pike, and it's 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 nice to be part of that universe and to share those skills with the next generation. We have Absolutely. a school called the Mind's Eye Tribe and we're an Action Actors Academy. It's the Mind's Eye Tribe Action Actors Academy, and we teach people how to do motion That's Now, you're a martial artist as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, ever since I was a little kid, I trained in karate and kung fu and uh, taekwondo, and 
I love it. It's a great way of life. That is fantastic, man. TJ, thank you so much for giving us your time today. We're going to say thank you to our partners and our friends over at uh, Embellish Effects, our great friends over at Famous Faces and Funnies and Space Coast Comics, our great friend who's here with us this week and live painting right here, our great friend Josh Bauer from J. Bauer Art for all the art that's on the set. So and nice. Josh is right across the way. He is doing some live painting for us today um, here on set. Uh, our, our great friends at the Foxwood Wine Company, comfy chairs. So they gave nice. us these comfy chairs. That's awesome. And our great friends at Hearts Health others of Central Florida. They're helping families, helping families all over Central Florida. That's awesome. That's right. Uh, they're in the middle, I think, of a big toy drive for teens for Christmas. Because oh, everybody really focuses cool. on the little tiny kids. That's really, and, you know, really teens, cool. Teens have, you know, they want Christmas too. Absolutely. So, uh, help out with hearts helping uh, others in Central Florida. Thank you for tuning in and logging on. Be sure to stay tuned in, stay logged on, and see who we're hanging with next. TJ, thanks, man. That's Thank awesome. You, Thank you very oh, course, much. Man.